What's going on guys? So full day of content creation again today. Uh, the client that like signed with Brand Panier earlier this month asked me can I get a few little like testimonial videos uh, like before the start off, they're not starting yet, starting in March. But do you want like a few little videos in place uh, from like their old business because like this is a, it's like a brand that's being rebranded again or like uh, restarting again basically. So they want a few testimonial videos from like the last time they were active and like just to see like what he can do and then obviously show that uh, for the next like plan going forward anyway enough of that i'm getting a lot of comments and dms about the new like instagram algorithm everyone's like freaking out saying oh my god what are we going to do now like you know what's changed and how much effect will this have on like everyone's instagram account and stuff like that guys calm down like obviously yet yeah, the algorithm is changing but it's not as bad as everyone thinks. There's just a few little changes that we need to like take into consideration when being active on social media. Now, obviously nobody really knows exactly what this means, like how the algorithms change, but uh, I've done a little bit of research on it, also like for Brand Panier and for my own clients moving forward. And there's like a few things that con I constantly keep coming forward and I keep seeing all different articles. So uh, I'm just gonna discuss those and see how like, uh, what the effect is of that on your own like personal brand basically so number one is now what instagram is going to do is do you want to try and stop people from passively posting their uh, posts on instagram so using like third party apps to post the instagram post for them uh, so basically what you want to do is now they're going to check if you don't reply to a comment or if you don't engage with the community within 60 minutes of posting on your Instagram account, then you'll see that as like a passive posting and you'll either shadow ban yet or trust, like see if you can shadow ban that one post. Secondly, Instagram is also onto the fact that everyone's putting the hashtags in like the, like the notes app on their phone. So all you need to do is copy and paste. Um, more often than not, the hashtags aren't really as relevant to that specific post anymore. They're just like general hashtags. Like for example, if you're in the fitness industry, everyone uses FitFam, FitFam UK. And then if you've got some kind of like uh, supplement sponsorship, you use the hashtag as well. And you just use it over and over again, you know, healthy, healthy life, fit, fit inspiration, all stuff like that. Like everyone uses the same sort of hashtags. So Instagram is onto it and they don't want you to do that anymore. So they're going to change two things. Number one, you're not allowed to use 30 hashtags anymore. If you use 30 hashtags, you will be considered as spam and you'll be shadow banned. And number two, you're not allowed to put your hashtags in the comments anymore. Again, if you do this, you'll be shadow banned. A great way to see if you're shadow banned or not is on the first, like in the first link in my description, if you click on that, no way affiliated, don't get money for it or anything. Just click on that first link in my description box, type in your Instagram name and you can see if your latest post is like shadow banned or not. And number three is one I just hated anyway. Like I, I tried it once and I just hated the fact that you need to the, like, you were sort of like forced to engage with accounts that you, did, you didn't really have a connection with. Uh, but anyway, basically what I'm talking about is the pods or the engagement groups. And I get so many DMs like, do you want to be part of this engagement group? This will really help your channel grow and all that. I'm like, piss off. I don't want to be part of some kind of random engagement group with all people I don't know. You know, I will engage with posts that I like or posts that are relevant to the content that I'm posting. I don't want to be part of some kind of engagement group. So don't send me any more of those DMs anymore, please. But anyway, Instagram is onto them as well. So uh, what they're going to do is they're going to check if I like say, for example, you post and person A, B and C constantly post on your post and the, like, you can sort of tell that there's like a little engagement group going on because everyone posts on the, the, the same post and same channels. And basically Instagram doesn't want you to do that anymore. So again, you will be shadow banned if you do this or if they think you're part of an engagement group or pod. So why is Instagram doing all this? Well, basically Instagram wants you to be on Instagram as long as possible. So you, the user, the consumer of Instagram, wants you to stay on Instagram as long as possible. And you will only do that if you only see stuff you like. So that is why Instagram is constantly changing the algorithm to get people or to get uh, like your feed to be stuff that you will definitely engage with or like. Because if you see a few posts that you're not really interested in or people that you follow, like maybe you followed in the past and you know, you're not really that interested in them anymore, there's a bigger chance of you clicking away. So that's what Instagram wants to avoid. They want you to stay on Instagram as long as possible. And that is why you'll only see uh, Instagram posts that are relevant for you. So what does that mean for the content creators or like the personal brands or people that are trying to monetize their Instagram page? That basically only 10% of your community, of your followers will see your posts. 
So, uh, and that's like the 10% that engage with your uh, post the most, like they're the only people that will actually see your post. So people that n don't never really engage with your post but do follow you will probably not see your post anymore. Then secondly, if your Instagram page or po if your latest Instagram post gets a lot of engagement, uh, a lot of people are liking it and comments under it, then yeah, then your post will be seen at, at, to a larger audience. So then you'll see more, your post will be seen by more than just that 10%. And obviously like one of the reasons behind all of this is also because Instagram or Facebook really wants to make money off like such a large platform. So one way to, or a way to get like around this 10% thing is by using uh, the boost button, what Instagram wants you to do is to use the boost button so you pay for people to see your post basically. So what are we going to do about all this? Well to be honest, uh, I think Gary Vaynerchuk summed it up pretty like well. I think like, I've, I've, I've looked into it, like it's called the 180 strategy and what he says is uh, the 180 strategy means leaving your two cents on like a certain amount of posts and I really agree with his way of thinking and basically it's not it's no longer about just leaving a like or you know getting some kind of bot to leave a like for you or anything like that like Instagram will only let you survive if you actually engage you know become part of the community you, you can't really get by by being like a passive Instagram user like there's a bigger chance that you'll just get like suffocated by Instagram then that you'll thrive on Instagram so basically, Gary Vaynerchuk's 180 strategy means leaving your yeah, two cents on a certain amount of posts. What he says is find the, te the top 10 hashtags that are relevant for your channel. So for me at the moment, it'll probably be something like social media marketing, content creator, uh, entrepreneurship, with a, I, even though I hate that, like the term entrepreneurship, it is a relevant hashtag for me at the moment. You know, find the top 10 hashtags, then comment on the top nine posts of those top 10 hashtags so comment on 90 posts every single day and like obviously you can't post like uh, like the bicep or the 100 uh, emoji you know or you, you can't just say like cool pick bro or something like that you know like this that's the standard copy and paste comments you can't do that because instagram is also looking at uh, your comments like if you comment and your comment is less than three words then that can also get marked as spam if you do it like on a regular basis and then again you will be shadow banned so comment like relevantly so comment something that actually that's actually meaningful and personal so don't go copy and pasting comments you know do actually comment on the the, the the photo or the post itself try and become part of the community you know try and like uh, emerge yourself within the community become part of it and that is like probably the best way to survive on Instagram in 2018. So anyway, that was just my little rant on the Instagram algorithm. Again, it's not like, like what I'm trying to explain, it's not, it's not a theory, like you do need to actually put this into practice. So like, it's, it's all fine and dandy knowing that you need to engage with the community, but you do actually need to go out and do it for it to work. So anyway, guys, if you got something out of this video, then like, or if there's something that you, uh, Oh, I'm tired guys. I'm, I'm actually going to London tomorrow for like this big social media meeting So my head's all over the place. I still need to pack and I'm actually working in a minute So I'm trying to wrap up this video quick as possible But anyway, uh, if there's something you need to get out of this video, it's this engage with community You know start commenting start replying to people's comments follow the people that follow you You know try and build this tribe around your own personal brand and that is just the best way to survive on Instagram. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Yeah. Like this video if you've got something out of it. Comment down below if you've got any strategies to build your Instagram following. And subscribe to the channel if you want more of these type of videos. Click on the little bell so you get a notification every single time I upload. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.